sure to log into your YouTube account, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Best of all, it's free to do so. Welcome to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. This is my first time here. I'm here as a Porsche Club of America member, and I'm trying to find the coolest, most interesting Porsches that you can see if you decided to visit the show. This year, probably the most impressive thing that debuted was this Porsche 963 Endurance Racer, but there's a lot of other stuff that Porsche brought to the show that's almost as impressive or more so depending on what your perspective is. So come along, I'll try and find you all the best stuff if you're a Porsche fan. So one of the first cars I stumbled upon when I got here to Goodwood this morning was this air-cooled 911. I think it might be a 911 SC, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's very modified, very unstuck. And uh, what made me smile was that one of the grill badges, one of the three grill badges back here is a Maverick Region Porsche Club of America grill badge. And I'm just wondering, how did a grill badge from Texas get all the way over here to England? I don't know, I don't care, I'm just happy it's here and on this car. And whoever the owner is, thank you for bringing it. So you venture on into the paddock and there's even more Porsche legends scattered everywhere. And in this particular section we have three 956s, 962, the legendary 917.30, a 917K that's not here, probably going up the hill right now, Porsche 961, RS Spider, and even a GT3R, which was Porsche's first hybrid race car, which used a flywheel to power its electric motors, not a battery. Um, yeah, this is the section where I'd like to be when all the Porsches are coming in and out, getting ready for the runs. Parked behind me is a Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 e Performance, which is uh, Porsche's race car testbed for electric technology. Uh, you won't see it in a production race series. You might see some of the technology that it has in a future Porsche race car. And of course, that'll trickle down to the road cars at some point. Um, up until now, until Goodwood, we've been able to see it in videos, in articles, and press releases, but we haven't seen it in person, or at least the general public hasn't. But Goodwood is one of those places where you can walk right up, experience the car, soak it in, take pictures, take video, and uh, see it for yourself. And here we are at Porsche's booth, or you might want to say superstructure in this case. I've picked the quietest, least busy area to film this section of, of our video for you, but I assure you it is much bigger. And in fact, I'll take you through a little time lapse of this whole facility so you can see what, ex what exactly Porsche has brought. So here again at Goodwood is the Porsche 936. This one is the vehicle that won the 1977 24 hour Le Mans, according to its side script there, uh, with Jackie X, Hurley Haywood, and Jurgen Barth at the wheel. So what's interesting about this car is that it was based on the 917, or at least its chassis was, uh, but it was powered by an air-cooled flat six with a single turbocharger making about 540 horsepower. Uh, it's not as widely known as some of Porsche's more legendary Le Mans race cars uh, and endurance race cars, but it did win three times at Le Mans from 1976 to 1981. Uh, so it was very success successful in its own right. It's a treat to see one of these things here at Goodwood. Um, and again, just another testament to, to what you can see if you come out here. And last but not least, we have the Porsche only parking. So here at Goodwood, it's behind the Porsche superstructure and it's made up of what I believe is all or mostly Porsche Club Great Britain members and their Porsches. Uh, we see this all the time at PCA events in North America. You know, you bring your non-Porsche to an event, you might get asked to park somewhere else, like behind the camera, or you get the premium parking if you bring your Porsche. So here at Goodwood, tons of Porsches are represented. Only a fraction of them are actually here in the Porsche-only parking but this is the highest concentration of Porsches I've seen at the whole event. So that wraps up our coverage of the Goodwood Festival of Speed this year, and I highly recommend you go in a future year if you couldn't make it this year. Not everything is gonna be the same, but you will see a heavy presence from Porsche, and as always, Porsche usually pulls out some pretty neat cars when they come to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Mm -hmm.